Today's video, I used the new products from the MAC Temperature Rising Collection, so if you want to know how to get this look, then keep on watching. I'm going to start off by taking a little bit of nylon from MAC and highlighting my brow bone with it. And I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and sweep this right underneath my brow bone just to make my brow stand out a little bit more and give a really pretty highlight. Now I'm going to take Orb eyeshadow from MAC and then a fluffy brush. And this is an angled brush. And I'm just going to sweep this across the upper portion of my lid for a base and this is going to be a transition color for our highlight and our crease colors. Now I'm going to take one of the quads from the collection and I'm going to take this color right here and a fluffy angled brush and I'm just going to sweep this across the lid right above our crease and this is just going to blend up with orb and also a highlight color. Now I'm going to take Espresso eyeshadow from MAC and just a tapered brush for the crease. And I'm just going to use this color just to start defining our crease. So I'm going to take it and go back and forth right in the socket. And then we're just going to blend up a little bit. With a flat eyeshadow brush, I'm going to take this color from the quad and we're just going to start packing this color on the outside corner of our lower lid and then also the inner corner of our lower lid. Keeping the center bare because we'll be adding that gold color in the center. And just really pack on the shadow but stay under the crease, you don't want to bring it up to the crease just yet. With that same eyeshadow color, we're going to start to smudge it under the lower lash line. So I'm just taking a smaller eyeshadow brush and literally just blending it right under the eye area. And do it all underneath the lower lash line. And I'm also going to take a small fluffy brush and to make the smoky eye a little bit more dramatic, we're going to take that color around the inner tear duct just to blend out that pretty green color. And we're also going to move it to the outside corner and start blending outwards. Last but not least, I'm going to take the gold eyeshadow from the 4.0 and I'm going to pat it right in the center of the lid. So what I did was um, added a liquid liner on my top lash line and then also smudged a black pencil underneath my lower lash line and in my waterline and added a few coats of mascara. This is what the eyes look like completely done and I just added a pair of false lashes. If you want to know information about them then check the description box. So I'm going to finish up my face by starting off with the strobe liquid lotion and this did come in the collection. I think they've had it before, I'm not sure, but um, this will just give a really dewy look to your skin. Um, great for summertime, so it's great for under the foundation or if you don't feel like wearing foundation, you can just wear it by itself. So I'm just going to take my hand and literally rub this all over. Okay, so I went ahead and concealed a little bit, and I don't know if you could see in the camera, um, but my skin looks pretty dewy. It's a really nice lotion, so now I'm going to start off with my foundation, and I'm going to use the MAC Mineralize Moisture SPF 15 Foundation. Thank you. 
Okay, so I just set my face with the translucent powder just in my T-zone. Now I'm going to add some bronzer and I'm going to use the Mineralized Skin Finish from MAC and Give Me Sun. And this is one of my favorites. Okay, so I went ahead and contoured my cheekbones ready, and now I'm going to add a little bit of blush. The one I'm going to use is um, Ripe for Love, and this is from the collection. And I'm just going to take a blush brush and apply it to um, my cheeks. Now I'm just going to highlight my cheekbones by using um, this is Soft and Gentle from MAC and I'm going to take a fan brush and do it right on the highest points of my cheeks. So I'm going to finish the look off with some lips and I'm going to start off with my favorite lip pencil and this is stripped down from MAC and I'm just going to use this for the outer corners of my lips and then for all over I'm going to use Liquid Passion that came in the collection and then right in the center I'm going to use Soft Serenade which is this one. So this is the end of my tutorial and I used a lot of products from the new MAC Temperature Rising collection. So I hope you guys liked it. I wanted to do a smoky eye but a little bit more dramatic than I normally do. And then um, I haven't used a lot of MAC products in a while so I wanted to um, bring out all my old products and use them. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. If you have any questions please leave me a comment below. And then I will be posting some pictures of this look on my Instagram. So like the um, an up-close picture of my eyes, maybe my lips, I'm not sure. But all the links will be below where you can find me. And thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.